Well, welcome back. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the bore size and how critical or not critical that is to flow testing. Now, from my experience, and again, I've been doing this for a lot longer than I, than I want to admit, um, the bore size on typical small block Chevrolet, small block Ford, big block Chevrolet, which is what we do a lot of our flow testing on, just doesn't matter. Uh, you can take a 4030 cylinder and a 4030 slider flow test the cylinder head, flow test two ports, and then come back a couple minutes later, take the cylinder head off, put a 4155 in, and put a 4155 slider on, and the numbers will be the same. Or the numbers will be within your margin of error. Which means when you go ahead and you take a look at the flow numbers, when you're done, you won't be able to tell which is which. So. I recommend people go with the biggest bore within the family that you're going to be flow testing. Meaning if you do a lot of small block Chevrolets and it's all 4030, you don't get any 4155, just get the 4030 and then you can get a 4030 Ford slider. But if you do a lot of 400s with a 4155 bore, get the 4155 and flow test everything on the 4155. Uh, I would love there to be a difference. If there was a big difference between 430 and 4155, we'd sell a lot more flow testing equipment. But that's not the objective here. Um, this equipment is a sizable investment as any good equipment is. Uh, I would rather see us spend that money somewhere else where it's maybe going to make you a little bit more money than buy a bunch of equipment and have it sitting on the shelf. Now, I can't argue with somebody who says on their particular Mitsubishi motor whatever, when they went from an 86 millimeter to an 86 and a half millimeter, the flow went up 50 CFM. I would tend to doubt it, but I've never done that test on that particular engine. And whenever you're doing testing, whenever possible, you want to go A to B to A. Now what that means is, you go ahead, let's say you're doing valve testing. You go ahead and you put a manly valve in. You flow test the cylinder. You want to check it against the Ferrara valve. You put the Ferrara valve in, you look at your numbers, and then what do you do? A good tester goes back to the manly valve. That's called A to B to A. So the 2A test should be pretty darn close. Now, you can't do that when you're modifying ports and taking material out. I understand that. But that A to B to A is exactly what we've done with the flow, flow stands and uh, the, the cylinders and the sliders. And it most, in all cases where we've ever flow tested, it just doesn't make any difference. Now, if somebody's paying you to do pro stock development work and real high dollar stuff and the bore is, is, is 4.185 and that's what you're going to base your reputation on, you got to buy a slider anyway, by all means, buy the 4155 slider and buy the sleeve and do your flow testing. But for the most part, don't worry about it. Get the most popular one in that particular family, flow test with it, and save your money for something else. Until next time, leave your comments and questions below, and we'll see you in the next segment.